Oh, all, all right, as you can see right there, we've got a few donuts here on the set of the Market Hub today. Got some coffee. I think we have some coffee. I need coffee to do this next segment because we're talking about coffee. Coffee and donuts. That should be a movie, right? Coffee and donuts. Yeah. I think uh, it was was it coffee and cigarettes. We're doing coffee uh, yeah, and donuts. I think I had a few other words in there as well. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mr. Nigel Travis, CEO of Dunkin' Donuts, we have with us today. Thanks for coming on. Thank you very much, Paul. Uh, so let's let's start right to it. I know at the corporate level, you guys have some insulation from commodity prices because mm -hmm. you you, know, you have your you know, franchise the stores out. But let's talk about the drought. Let's talk about commodity costs. How are your franchisees dealing with what's going on? Well, funny enough, we were talking about this yesterday because we had a big franchise meeting and we have a franchisee-owned uh, cooperative and distribution mm -hmm. set up. Uh, they're dealing with it very well. Uh, um, and we were making the distinction yesterday in the meeting that many of the people concerned about the commodities are really in the uh, burger area. Mm -hmm. We have a different profile of commodities. Uh, coffee has been actually on the way down. Right, right. Um, we have some exposure to wheat, uh, but generally uh, all the commodities that we're really interested in seem to be either flat or going down. So uh -huh. we're not too concerned about commodities, but even if we were, I think the professionalism that our DCP, as we call it, brings to the commodities management is the, it, this is the franchisee owned distribution and purchasing entity. Uh, that they're doing a terrific job and we're working very closely with yeah. them. Okay, so, uh, so, okay, you're dealing with the commodity costs. It's a good thing for you guys, right? I mean, I've noticed actually there's a Dunkin' Donuts in my town and I bought the, yeah. Uh, yeah, I noticed your coffee prices haven't gone up in probably two years, I think. No, our, our franchisees, I think, learned something. A, we're great on speed. B, we're great on value. And, and one of the ways you maintain the value is by not increasing your prices. Yeah. Uh, I could actually argue we could have done a better job moving prices up, but um, particularly on our differentiated products. But particularly on coffee, we've decided we've got to stay in a very strong value position, and that seems yeah. to be working. Yeah, you know, Cindy, you talk about your position, right, in terms of coffee and pricing. You have people on either side of you nipping at your heels, mm -hmm. more than nipping at your heels, right? I mean, you have Starbucks at the high end, mm -hmm. your McDonald's at the low end. Uh, the three of you are in a very tight competition for the customer, especially given the way the economy is right now. How are you guys managing that? We, I, I think we manage it very well. First, I mean, we've already covered one point. The value perception that mm -hmm. we managed to create by our franchisees managing uh, their pricing has been terrific. I think our marketing has been professional, aggressive, and differentiating. Um, our store operations have improved, in my view, dramatically. And I'm always amazed how many people come up to me and say, hey, I go to this Dunkin' Donuts, and it's improved so much. Yeah. So I think it's the combination of that. But one of the things I actually like about this industry is competition keeps you um, on your toes. Mm -hmm. It makes you think hard. It makes you do different things. Uh, and we're constantly trying to differentiate our company and our brand. Yeah. Now, for the rest of the year, for the second half of the year, certainly, let's talk about the, yeah. the U.S. Uh, I know you guys, I think you put your twenty, your fiscal 2013 EPS somewhere between 122 to 125. Yeah. Streets at 126. Are you confident with those numbers? Yeah, we, we, we feel good about this year. I mean, we, we, we increased our guidance on development. Uh, we increased our earnings guidance. Mm -hmm. um, we feel that uh, the economy has gone through a little bit of a bump, some signs that that bump's corrected back up, uh, but it seems to change every day. Um, we feel that uh, we're in an excellent position in terms of if the economy does get a bit tighter, uh, as we saw during, if you like, 08 and 09, we're in a very good position with our value perception, but we're continuing to put in lots of marketing. We continue to bring out new products uh, we've, we've launched today our mobile app. I, was, I wanted to yeah, ask you about yeah. the mobile app. Uh, which we think you know, is built within our guidance of, uh, um, of the comps this year. But we really think that we're competing very well with all that competition out there. Yeah. And, and I, I feel good about meeting our guidance for the rest of the year. L let's talk about the mobile app for a second yeah. since you bring it up. Uh, how long has this been in the works? Because this is, you know, this sort of subject is blown up at some other companies I won't mention. Yeah. How long have you guys been working on this? We've been working on this for probably nine months. Yeah. It got launched at two o'clock this morning. Yeah. Uh, so this is day one. Um, I must say the initial reaction has been terrific. Uh, it's a very simple app, and it has some differences from some of the competition. Mm -hmm. uh, firstly, we're all about speed, uh, and you can pay pay with the uh, 
card that's on here, but one of the differences is you can actually get a Dunkin' card directly on the app. Most of our competitors, you actually have to get a hard card, then transfer right. it to the, to the app. So this is going to make life a lot easier for the consumer. Secondly, e-gifting, uh, or m-gifting as we call it. M-gifting, mobile gifting is, is unique. I could send you an email. I could send you a text, which I think right. is unique. Uh, and on Facebook, and, and we've been demonstrating it a few times this morning, it works really well, and I think that's going to help our consumers see more speed, even more speed at Dunkin', but it's also going to get more people into the system. Yeah. Uh, here, let me, let me ask you, we got we got to run out of time here, but yeah. I have one very important question, a hardball question for you. Uh, are you guys ever going to bring back the donut with the little handle on it? Uh, I think we've, yeah, to be honest. There, we got be, a picture be, of it right there. Yeah. The, oh, wow, yeah. Actually, I have seen it. Yeah. It was before my time. Yes, it was. And, and uh, to be honest, as you probably got, I didn't grow up in this country. Uh, <laughs> so I've, I haven't the, been I'm around. It was, it was very popular. Okay, so you want it to come back? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay. We, and the, so, the, the so we, will requests. we will make sure you get one. Okay. And, uh, and, and the minimum promise is we will test it. But I want everyone to have one. I, want, it's, I tell you, it's very yeah, it's, but if we it test great it, for dunking. We're very systematic. We'll dunking test it. If donuts. it works, yeah, dunking, yeah. Dunking. All right, we have to wrap it. Nigel Travis, appreciate your time, sir. Thank, Thank you, you for coming in.